hello and happy Sunday to you or whatever day you're viewing this. I had a comment on my community post from RDP 16 rules um, saying that I should set a budget when I go to the comic book store uh, to see if like I can buy Luke something or whatever. That budget went straight out the window and I just bought whatever the hell I wanted to. So today we're going to go to a comic book store that we have not been to in a place that we have not been to. So we're going to drive there and have a, a really lovely Sunday outing type thing and probably buy some stuff. Let's be real. <laughs> Do you remember the name of the shopping center? East something. So we're at a place <laughs> in Basildon, in Essex. Um, I've never been here before. Well, I've been to, to Essex, but I've never been to Basildon, but I've never... It's called Eastgate. Yeah, Eastgate. We've never been to Eastgate Shopping Center. Ooh, they must have just cleaned the floors because my shoes are squeaky. Yeah. And it's funny because we've just parked literally right in there and the comic shop we're wanting to go to is right there. So, and I have very squeaky shoes today. Um, we will, I guess, have a look around. And <laughs> there's something about England um, in all of the places that I've lived. I think it's the whole place. Nothing opens on a Sunday until like 10 or 11 a.m. It's weird. Um, to me anyway, but then again, I come from Oklahoma where when I was younger, you couldn't buy like spirits, not that I bought them anyway, but yeah. They what weren't are... open for an hour and a half. <gasps> 11. Yeah. Oh, wow. The website lied. Uh, liar, liar, pants on fire. It's, was it on the Google thing? Yeah. It's probably someone that put that on there, not the shop itself. Yeah, sure. Anyways, we're going to have a, a look see -loo around and see if there's anything opening before 11. If not, I want to get a drink at some place that is not Starbucks. <clears throat> Hello, we're back home now. As you can see from the footage, the shop that we went to wasn't actually very big, but it had some really awesome things. So if you're ever in the Basildon, hey, that's my hand. If you're ever in the Basildon area, pop in there. It's really nice. It opened up at 10. 11. Oh, 11. Yeah. Yep. It opened up at 11 rather than 10. So that's cool. Um, we also went to um, another place and I got a lot of potato chips. Yeah, but let me show you the, some of the stuff we got. I'll take this out. Okay, so Luke is just taking the bag of comics out. The first thing I saw that I knew that I was going to come home with was this. So this is, I think it has, does it have 20 posters? Two, four, five. Yeah, 20 posters. So and this, Gilgamesh. Yay. Gilgamesh, woo! Get out of the way. <laughs> so Gilgamesh is, he's, he thinks it's okay. So I really, really love this sort of art style. And I, as I've said before, I, I still go on Pinterest and I do have a lot of these saved on my Pinterest board. And it's nice because each one of these are removable posters. So if you have a look in it, you can see my pile of blankets there. They're actually Gilgamesh's blanket. I'm okay. Off there, Gilgamesh, go on, off you go, move. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick you up. Whoa! So when you look in that, I've just picked some random pages, you can see like, like how cool are these, like all of the, oh, one of my faves, um, all of these are just mini posters, as I'm sure you guys are probably aware of. And I saw this one and I knew, I knew she was coming home with me. And then I saw, or Luke, did you see this one? No, you showed it to oh, me. Oh, I, I showed him this because... I love this art style as well, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. But I don't see any like posters or anything these days with um with the Batman Beyond. So 
that's one of the reasons. And then I looked at it, and then which one in particular was the one? The one with the three-headed dog. Which one is that one? The Severus. <laughs> Anyways, there's one that has like a dog that has multiple heads on it. I loved it. And by the way, the thing that's taking my attention is how cute is this? How cute is he? <laughs> so that's why I was like, what? Um, but yeah, how awesome are these? I just, I just cannot get over it. This is what I was, I was talking about. The dog with the multiple heads. I love that sort of, it reminds me of like the mid eighties kind of, um, stuff. I don't know. I'm terrible at talking, but I can leave you to Gilgamesh for a moment. He's like, bite, bite, Mary. <laughs> All right, so I will actually hand my phone over hey, to Luke. Let you keep filming and I'll just oh. show. Okay, cool. So, so let's have a look at what Luke got. As you can see, we've got a three cat. So it doesn't matter that I vacuumed the sofa yesterday. There's cat hair. Yeah, I just need Gilgamesh to get his butt out of the way. We see some gilly toes. Oh, <laughs> how sweet. He's like, I want to see. Well, I got a brown paper bag. That's it. <laughs> Perfect. No, it's got some comics in it. Yeah. I need Gilly to get out of the way. So, so the man, oh, I didn't get his name. I feel bad for not getting his was, name. Was it Mike, possibly? I'm that not might have been sure. the person he was speaking to yeah. on the phone. Um, the man that was at the this comic place that we went to in Basildon was absolutely a sweetheart like he's very nice he actually gave us money off um yeah. because they were older comics yes. and these weren't like new um i would have bought them anyway because i just really like them and he was just so nice um and i think that really makes a huge difference when you're going to like an independent establishment so yeah i'm gonna let luke, luke talk through these comics all right well the first one i got was adventures of superman 500 so this is actually i think this one is the first appearance of characters like steel and cyborg superman and eradicator it's one that's not massively expensive and he gave us a, a fair bit off as well because you know <laughs> he said it's been sitting in his his comic boxes for decades so he was quite happy to get rid of it mm. um the next one i got an issue of Beware the Batman. So you might notice a theme with what's coming up next. I've, I've been buying the tie-in comics for some of the animated series. I've got all of the DCAU stuff already, but uh, I saw this one. You don't often see Beware the Batman tie-in comics out in shops these days. They're from, when was this one? This would have been like 2010 or something. Or 2007 or something like that. No, yeah, that, that was these ones. Oh, this, this was oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like I remember him saying 2007 for yeah, those ones, yeah. yeah. So moving on, the 2007 comic mm -hmm. from the Legion of Superheroes in the 31st century. Um, a bunch of issues of that. So got number two, number four, number five, number ten. Oh, and number nine. Now this one I wanted to focus on because, hey, who's that guy? Anyone that watches my video will know who that is. Oh no, who is that? It's Brainiac, isn't it? <laughs> But yeah, so you don't see these tie-in comics out in comic shops very often. So I just bought all the ones he had. And the last ones, again, more tie-in comics. Green Lantern, the animated series tie-in, number two, number three, and number four. And I got all of these for a little bit over £20. So I feel like that's a really good deal. Oh, I didn't even tell you how much I paid for these. So together I paid... 35 pounds i believe or yeah. 36 pounds something 35. like that um and i think that's a really great price for these because i mean it's it's 20 posters per book so yeah yeah i did feel a little bad though because the guy said that these comics had been in those long boxes for <laughs> since they came out yeah so he's like oh they've been in there for nearly 20 years yeah and someone's come and bought them all so yeah. i think i'm going to do a little project of just trying to track down the the tie-in comics for mm -hmm the other cartoons that might be fun yeah okay. Gilgamesh you want to smell the ancient comics here yeah, smell which one <laughs> should I read first decide 
All right, so I want to do ratings of each of the comic book shops mm -hmm. <laughs> that I, I go to here. This one, have to say, didn't know it was going to be as good as as it was. So I'll start out with Luke's rating and then I'll do my own rating. Okay, so out of five, I give it four out of five. Mm -hmm. um, the guy that owns it, really nice, really friendly, obviously gave us a nice deal. Um, it was a bit disorganized. It was kind of hard to find stuff, apart from new stuff. New stuff was very clearly marked up and the graphic novels were all really easy to find. But his back issues were all kind of jumbled up. But, you know, that's kind of part of the fun of collecting mm -hmm. comics, digging through the boxes, trying to find something interesting. Um, but yeah, had a load of cool stuff. Uh, took pictures on Mary's phone of some of his wall items as well. And there was some cool stuff there. Not for me, mostly Marvel, but um, yeah, four yeah. stars for me. So I would say, I'd say four stars as well. The reason I'm not giving it five stars is location. <laughs> Oh. And that's purely a personal thing. Otherwise, it would be, yeah, it would still be, it would be about 4.5 stars. But I, I give it that because the man was very personable. He um, was very nice. Um, when I asked one of the questions, I'm going to ask every single one of these comic shops that I go to. And I'll tell you that question in a minute. Um, he didn't like laugh or anything like that. And I've actually found some really great stuff that I'd never, I'd never seen in person before. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'd say, I'd say four stars as well. So the question I'm going to ask each and every single one of the comic shops that I visit around us and in London for the foreseeable future. And as long as I do these little videos, which will get better is, do you have any of the Marvel Barbie comics? Mm -hmm. Because I am missing, I'm missing a few of them, quite a few of them, I think. Um, I have... You've got most of the first sort of 25 or 30 of them. Yeah. Uh, and then it's, I think they only did like, well, they had two separate series and they did like 60 issues each, something like that. Did one rip? Don't think so. No, oh, okay. I didn't, I couldn't remember. But yeah, other than that, I had a really okay time in the shopping center that's a whole nother thing yeah but that's not their fault that yeah. the shopping center's weird um no the comic <laughs> shop even if you only go to that comic shop worth it mm. um we don't live too far from it but in england something that would take about five minutes to get to in oklahoma it's going to take you about five days <laughs> <laughs> uh, like 25 minutes half an hour yeah about like half that. an hour so yeah, I think that's the end of my little review. Again, I promise they'll get better. It's a good Sunday. I'm just having a relaxed day and not taking things too seriously. But did you expect to come out with as much as you did? No. No, no to be honest, I, I didn't think I was going to find anything I wanted. Um, but, you know, I found a decent amount of stuff. That's the great thing about comic shops. Sometimes you don't think it's going to be very good. And then you don't judge a book by its cover or the shopping center it's in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they had a self-serve um, candy floss machine. Oh, cotton yeah, candy. they did. We didn't they? do anything with it, no. but, you know, it was a nice novelty to see. I don't like cotton candy or candy floss, as it's called over here. No. So, yeah, that's the end of my little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it a little bit. Um, I will go a bit more in depth with the, the next ones that we do. But this one, I didn't even know we were going to do it today until... Um, did you I, mention wait, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, until Luke mentioned it this morning <coughs> while I was watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Have a great day. Anything to say, Gil Gilgamesh? No. Bye. Bye.